I'm gonna go to Mirth and participate in some high stake, high reward melee. I'm probably gonna lose. Yeah. Fuck, there's a lot of people here. Oh, come on. Where's my melee? I've been promised a melee, boy. Lannisport and Mir? Okay, fine. I'm gonna go to Mir. Better. Doing better, Max. What if, though, when Battlelord is out, it's just terrible? I feel like the soul of Dream Melee Final will just shatter on the spot. Well, if Battlelord is gonna be bad, we're just gonna go back and play Warband. I don't know. I mean, even if Battlelord is gonna be bad, we still have Warband, right? Oh, wait, we gotta wait until the morning. Yes, we can join the melee. And we shall, brothers. We shall. We'll see. Uh, join the melee. Place bet on myself. And enter said melee. Let's get paid. First we gotta fight against... That guy, which doesn't seem to be heavily armored. Hi. Oh, but he's fast and furious. Gotcha, Sir Miles Sand. Sure enough, I suppose. It's just all that eight years of waiting for nothing if it turns out to be. Um, yeah, well, that's why I'm not waiting for Battlelord. I just play games and just completely ignore Battlelord until it comes out. Just completely. 100% ignore it and just wait until new info appears. That dude seems to be having a two-hander disaster. Let's fuck him up before he gets a chance to utilize it. Goodbye, Sir Garrus of Will. Yeah, just completely forget about Bannerlord. Enjoy other video games. And when you hear, hey, did you hear? Bannerlord just got released. You're like, oh boy, I'm gonna go try it. Oh boy, it sucks. Oh boy, good thing I didn't get hyped about it. That's how I do it. With, oh, uh, except a little bit of less of, oh boy. All right, what are we fighting against? Just a normal sword and board? Nah, mason board, that is fine. It's a healthy mentality. It's a low expectations mentality. Sir Desmond of the Green Blood was knocked out. Let's see if we can be the undefeated, undeniable champion of this location. Yeah, exactly like Game of Thrones. I enjoyed the fuck out of the last season. Were some things that I didn't like, but I was 100% positive that there will be things that I don't like about the last season. So, I still enjoyed it. It was still awesome. For me, at least. Ha ha! Oh. Get off me, booty! Uh oh. Okay, she slapped me, or he slapped me with that one. Hacking and slashing away, Mr. Lazy No Bambasto. That's his name, I don't know. Enter the melee. We're fighting against... Who dat? New phone, who dis? A guy with a shield bigger than himself. I kind of like that shield. Look at that size of that thing. That looks cool. Okay, shiny boy. Okay, do you want to fight? Then stick close to me. Is that a mace or a sword? Seems to be quite... I think that's a blood weapon. What is that? Iron club. What? <laughs> that was a club. Or how about all mod creators stop working on mods because Bannerlord... 
So, even if the mod creators stop working on mods because of Bannerlord, we still have a lot of good mods that we can play. I mean, my god, I think I've played Prophecy of Pandora for four or five times? It's awesome. Yoko Kujo for three or four times. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, what's entitled as fuck? Alright, big boy. Ooh, this dude is looking a little bit more on the armored side of things. On the armored side of life. And this is gonna take a bit, huh? Whoa! Okay, how in the hell did he do that much damage? Probably fast? Aha! Gotta hit directly on his helmet and he will die. Or not. Got him. Goodbye, Sir Adam Wells. Fare thee well. You don't look so well. Other bad puns. Victory is yours. As the crowd erupts in applause, you are met by one of the young maidens of Mir, wink wink nudge nudge, who congratulates you on the victory and hands you your reward. A finely decorated great sword. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you also earn a prize of 200 coins. Blech. Moreover, you earn 6.5 gold coins. I have no idea what uh, Jake refers to. And we get ourselves a great sword. Great. Also, I love this mod, but it's pretty difficult sometimes. Once you get heavy plate armor, you're... the difficulty goes way, way down. Or maybe that's just me. Also, question, does a repeater crossbow shoot multiple times? Or does it have a very uh, fast reload rate or something? Have you guys ever tried a repeater crossbow in uh, Clash of Kings? Masterwork Iraq. Mm -mm. Loopers. Dragon Bone Bow. Doubt. I'm pressing the X so hard right now. So hard right now. Well, I mean, that's kind of expensive. It's... What? Masterwork Dragon Bone Bow requires power draw 8? Nah, son. Nah. Also, I think I'm going to sell the Greatsword. Although that Greatsword is pretty great. Goodbye, Balanced Bastard Sword. I won't be needing your services anymore. Because I'm going to have the Arming Sword and some other stuff. Actually, keep it. I'm going to give it to some companions. It should be fine. Now, let's see if this trick works. Where I... Wait. Good. Go back to mirror. Okay, yeah, so no. <laughs> no, the melee is over. The tournament is over and I can't uh, do a thing about it. Any other melees? Lattisport and Valisar. Valisar sounds something in Essos. Let's see. Notes, locations, Valisar. I'm curious to see if I can still find the location, even though I don't know where it is. Oh shit, I know where it is. Never mind. Never do you mind. Let's go to Valisar and uh, win us another tournament. And they should have added Joffrey to the mod so we could have the enjoyment of constantly taking him prisoner and humiliating him. Isn't Joffrey present in this mod? Well, if it's not in this mod, you go ahead and place some uh, World of Ice and Fire, my man. That one does. Your money or your life. Not my money or my life. Please, anything about my money or my life. Okay, these boys seem to be meaning business. Down. Oh, shit. That's a piercing. Those are some piercing weapons they have. And that's a heavily armored bloke. What the fuck? Ow. Could you please go down? Greaty sword of greatiness. 
Okay, that is not dealing as much damage as I would like it to do. And, okay. Of course, my horse died. What the fuck? I think we're gonna die here. I got a feeling. Please don't make me lose my stuff. We lost money. And we didn't lose anything else. Good. Sure. Take my money. Just don't take my gear. Also, my horse died. God damn it. They took my horse. Let's go to Balasar. And maybe find a better horse there. Just buy a horse. Oh, hello, what? Swayed back... Cathparact Warhorse. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't look like much. Although the charge is just charge 50 <sighs> heavy breathing a bit just a little bit of heavy breathing let's uh join the melee and join in fight in the melee and uh see what we get maybe you get a horse for the melee and they're gonna be like oh my god here's a horsey for ya is that a king you look like a king good sir Thryarch Donifas, Pen Penimon, Penimian, something Mion. Like the totem, though. Hey, look, another one. What the? Goodbye, Niesos Vassar. Triarch. Most likely, it's a kingdom ruled by three kings. Or something. Okay, this dude seems to be a little bit more armored. Or not. Goodbye, Bellicho. Well, sometimes you just gotta knock some kings out, man. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Stabby, stabby. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure I told you to just get out your great sword. Let's chop them up, boys. Ooh, get slapped by my great sword. It's kind of cool. Goodbye, Voltiro Melane. Can get sword Sam Castle, this Valerian sword. Could Radic, could you please? Rephrase that so I can understand. Hmm. Hello, confused person. What the? Okay, this dude has some uh, serious armor. By the looks of it. There we go. Horono Penimon. Penimian went bye bye. Uh, I can't access my character sh character sheet, but I can access it here. Let's really writing one. Hmm. I don't think there is right. There are right. Oh no, nope. Never mind. There are writing requirements in this mod. Uh, now that we have strength twenty one, let's just go with that agility six. Go back to it. Or do I just start pumping up into Charisma and start getting these up? Ah, tough. Tough decision. Let's go for some Charisma. And some extra surgery. That should do it. Increase our two-handed because that seems that's the way we're uh, rolling. Hi. Ooh. 
Mmm, that just... That is just unhealthy, man. That is awesome. Okay, next. Uh, this sword... Same stole from father when he visited Wild Gill. Okay. I still kind of don't understand, but sure. Oh, Sam. Sam stole from his father when he visited Gil. Okay. So I can get that Valyrian sword, which is located at Sam's castle. Sam's family castle. Where is and what is the name of this castle? Which is most likely located on Westeros. Yes, yes, I know. I, I kind of deciphered his uh, his stuff. The victory is yours. As the crowd erupts in applause, you are met by one of the young nobles of Alisar, who congratulates you on the victory and brings you your reward, a fine-looking Destrier. Called it. Also invited to attend the ongoing feast in the castle. Hornhill, thank you. But we got a horsey! Boys! We got a horsey! Yes! Yes! Now, let's enter the arena again and ask for another location. Hornhill is the castle of House Charlie. Okay. Cool. Charlotte, let's join the feast a bit. And since it's a feast, okay. Which one's the king? Is that the king? Oh, wait a sec. I guess another way of uh, making money in this mod is just to join a lord's army and just get paid. That can work. There's no time limit that I'm aware of in this one, so it should be fine. Uh, let's go to this side and see if we could explore some locations. For example, that Goyandro. Sell sort of marauders, no thank you. You know what? Let's try to get some soldiers. Just curious. Let's try to get some soldiers this time around. Actually, you know what? No. Let's go to Mirth and build an enterprise, see how much it how much it costs, and then we'll try to sell, buy some soldiers. The Meet the Guildmaster. Scratch my left arm. There. Hello, wish to buy, uh, something, something? Hey, nice, they trust me for some odd reason. Good. Uh, 42 coins a week. Nope. 138 coins a week. Nope. 67. Nope. 96. Damn. Nope. 246 for oil production. Nice, and it only costs 4.5 coins. What? Nice. Uh, 246. Ironworks, 186. Weavery and dye works 10k, but it makes me 559. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, weavery and dye works wins, man, but it's 10k. So it's gonna produce us the most money, so I'm gonna be going for it. And I think I have enough to build another one in the mirror. So let's go to mirror. I seem to. I don't know. Was mirth? Where we want to melee, or was it Mir? Cause if it was, yeah, it was in Mir. So in Mirth, I had zero relations, so I didn't have any requirements. There were no requirements to build an enterprise in that location. Let's see this place: minus eighty-four, hundred and thirty-two, two hundred two hundred two. Cool. Minus forty-two, hundred and ninety. Four a week. Mm -mm. What? Profit would be th minus 387 coins a week. What the fuck? Or not. It seems, it seems not, Radic. 
76 coins. So is it worth it to go for an oil press here? Sorry, for a tannery? Because, come on, I pay 10k for this? Hmm. I guess I'm just going to go for the tannery for right now. Just buy the tannery. And hopefully it's going to make us money. Uh, let's go northwards. 4.5. Yeah, I love it as well, my man. You gotta love. Gotta learn to love. Try to verify. Well, hello, what? You feel a bit peckish and decide to go hunt for some food in the undergrowth of the nearby woods. You find what appears to be some tasty wild onions. You decide to... <sighs> now... The question is, if I eat them, will it always give me a bad, bad outcome, or will it always give me a good outcome, or is it completely random? Hmm. Let's eat them. In the name of science, let's eat them. You roasted the onions over an open fire that were very tasty. You gained five one-handed weapon proficiency. Okay. Apparently good shit did happen. Somehow. The fuck. Hey, Mandara, welcome back to the end, dude. What's up? Do good. Playing some uh, Clash of Kings. Having the fun. Lothraki Raiders. Nope. No, thank you. Hello, Ceiling Joker. Welcome to the inn. Uh, yes, I know about Bannerlord. I don't care until March 2020. That's it. That's that's my opinion on Bannerlord. I don't care until March 2020. My favorite mod for this game is Prophecy of Bendor. Glad to hear you, Mendar. Uh, okay, uh, Goyandro. This place is filled with canals, though all of them have been choked with rays and muds, and the stagnant water is giving birth to swarms of flies. Okay. Let's check it out. Ooh, I feel the power of this horse. Oh, this horse would be good. This horsey can jump sideways, man. This horsey be super good. As you rummage through the abandoned ruins, you come across a selection of shattered pottery. Despite the worn appearance, it's evident that the craftsman who made the pottery was highly skilled. The shapes of tiny fish and turtles still visible on the shards strewn across the ground. Alright. Next week on Wednesday, you're going to be 18? Congratulations, my man. I'm going to give you an early happy birthday. Because, sorry to say this, but I might forget on Wednesday next week. But again, happy birthday, my man. I'm not a person known for my memory. Let's just go with that. Anything else that I might find... Some weird shit, maybe? No problem, dude. No problem. Uh, is it some. Oh, what, what? Okay. Obscure chest of obscurity? What the flying hell? A red crystal. Am I going to find some extra components and build myself a lightsaber? Going to go all Jedi Academy on the, on this game's ass? Because I'd be down. I'd be super down to go all Jedi Academy on this game's ass. I'd be like, vroom, 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 all over the place. 
Indeed, the free loot of freeness. Okay, I feel like there should be something here because I don't know there's a port. No, screw it. Let's go to Penta. Hello, Pirate Camp. Pirate Camp. You know, I am just curious. I'm most likely not going to be able to do anything about it, but... Attack the hideout single-handedly. Oh, yeah, I love, I love Jedi Academy as well. It's... I think out of all of the Star Wars games, it's my third favorite. Uh, the first being Knights of the Old Republic, and second being Knights of the Old Republic 2. Or, sorry, is it Jedi Knights? K KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, KOTOR. Okay. That one's my favorite. Those two are my favorite, and then my third is Jedi Academy. Okay, this might be slightly challenging. On the note of lightsabers, the Star Wars mod for this game feels so weird sometimes, even though it's great. It's just so different compared to all other mods with guns and stuff in space. Indeed, I think you're talking about Star Wars Conquest? Nameless? Think that's the one that you're referring to? Are you going to play KOTOR next time again? Oh yeah, I think I'm going to revisit that game as well. I mean, KOTOR is where I got my nickname, Raval. I mean, Raval is practically a combination of my real name, Raul, and uh, Revan. Son of a... I am ninja it up. <sighs> okay, that is not fair. Okay, they respond up the butt. That's nice. They're gonna go northwards and kill those other guys before I tackle the three boys to the southeast. Hopefully they're not gonna spawn any more on me. Who am I kidding? Most likely they will. In uh, Paradigm World, you can have lightsabers too. That's a T-O-O, -O, not a T-W-O. Shit. Not fast enough with this two-hander. One sec. Nameless. Thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. Name's Roval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me today. People have been telling me to try Paradigm World, but I seem to recall that it's a little bit on the kooky side, as in super effing weird. And crazy. So, what do you guys think of Paradigm World? Or Paradigm Worlds? Not even sure what's the official name of the mod. I'm not even sure if I should parry or not. I should chamber. That's what I should do. I don't know how to chamber. Get slappy, bitch. Uh oh. Oh boy. Get off me before the reinforcements come here. Oh fuck. Got him. Okay. How come pirates have heavily armored stuff? I call that shenanigans. They're like. Of course, because, you know, phasing through your opponents, sorry, through your allies, is a fucking thing. Fuck you. Love it when, this, when the game does that. Just love it. Mmm. So good. <sighs> man, that really rustles my jimmies, man. Just rustles them. For moments like those, I'm not even in the mood of playing anymore. Let's go to Pentos. See what we can find there. 
some cool ass armor, maybe? That lord has some cool ass stuff in there. Two headed maces, a war mace. 27 piercing damage. I'm gonna be putting in something the spear. Most likely bring out some piercing weapon to go through those nasty shields. And armor, for that matter, not just the shields. Well, this can crush through block. I could just overswing and kill everybody. Hmm. I guess I'll think about it for a while. Man, I, I was so close in uh, defeating that uh, bandit lair single-handedly. That would have been cool. Well, okay. Let's go to... I think I've explored that location. We're just going to go northwards from, from here. Hmm. Good iron isles to get a good axe. Oh yeah, because I can so easily just go there to the iron isles while I'm being in Essos, Radic. So easy. Just, just pop in. Just teleport. Yep. Yep. You intercept another raven. Uh, they're everywhere. You unroll the message tied to its leg with green velvet. It's a proclamation from Tyrells of Highgarden, urging all loyal and honorable lords to support Ronly Baratheon as king of the Seven Kingdoms. Okay. Demontis, thank you for becoming a follower, my man. Welcome to Hit Point Inn. Name is Raval. I'll be your bartender, and I really hope you enjoy your stay. Drinks are on me today. There's a wee old cave over there. Which I think we're gonna be exploring soon. Yeah, let's go to the old cave. For a second there, I thought that the Thraki are going to be uh, swimming over. Oh, oh, careful on those pirates. <sighs> Ooh, that was fucking close. You arrive at an outlaw lair, shuttle among the hills of Norvos. The lair is situated at the perfect spot for hiding with a small river providing shelter from prying eyes. But I saw it. What do you mean I can't see it? Let's go eastwards and explore the rest of this location. Maybe even uh, do a quick visit to Norvos. And then uh, check out these northern sections just to be done with Essos. Marketplace, arms. Nothing really interesting and unique about this place. Also, I'm not even exactly sure if I should sell the red crystal. Red crystal looks good. Some of that thick heavy plate armor. Yep, mine's better though. Mine has a bigger dick. Vargas the slave trader. Okay. William the traveler, soul sword spearmen, Norvosi lancers. Yeah, not right now. Let's enter the arena. And see if uh, any new melees spawned in the area. Lannisport and uh, Rios. Do I know where Rios is? Let's go to the R section. Probably not pronouncing it correctly, but... Oh, okay. So it's uh, over there somewhere. That's cool. Uh, do I risk? Yeah, I risk. I'm going to go uh, check the northern parts of this location. And afterwards, I'm going to make my way to Rios. Just want to verify and make sure that there's nothing here. Okay. Go through the mountains north. This game lags a lot when I control space. The Great Maze. Oh, hello, what? Yes, please? Can I go in and, uh, you know, get lost in the Great Maze? That'd be cool. I'm down. 
You arrive at the ruins of the Great Maze, stretching as far as you can see and covered in mists, the maze spreads before you. Yes, please. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. Okay, so this is uh, the starting location of the Great Maze. We're just going to touch the right wall and uh, keep going. And just ignore everything else and keep touching the right wall. Eventually, we'll uh, reach the end. Right wall, guys. Just touch the right wall. That's the answer to any type of any type of this type of maze. I know it's kind of boring, maybe, but gets the job done. All right. Keep on touching that right wall. Now it's kind of weird, but eventually we'll reach the exit just by touching the right wall. <laughs> Unless it's a moving, uh, moving maze, like in the Maze Runner or something like that. If it's a moving maze, then mm -mm. this trick will not work. Where you touch the right wall. Okay. I'll have to see this place from uh, from a bird's eye view. Guys, this place is pretty well made. I already lost my orientation. I don't know where uh, where I started from. So my only option right now is literally to just hug the right wall and keep going. Also, interestingly enough, hugging the right wall will make you explore the entirety of the maze. Unless you meet the exit on the way. If you reach your starting point, why what is this? Do I can I jump down there? Ah, uh, the bridge at the end of the maze appears to have fallen apart years ago. Deep beneath in the murky waters, you can just make out a long, slender shape swimming about just below the surface. Okay, so I guess this is the end of the maze. Let's keep on hugging the right wall. That's going to make us explore the other side of the maze. It's also going to bring us back to the entrance. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. So who are you? Dun, dun, bum, bum. No look at the end of the maze. What is this blasphemy? Indeed. Oh, hello, what? What is this? It'd be so cruel to make someone spend so much time to navigate the maze and not put any sort of chest. It would. It would be sad. Let's see what we find here. The tunnel leading down into the underground has a rotten odor. A small pile of bones to the right is rattling, and suddenly a rat comes scurrying out. Okay. Can't, uh... Can't reach. Right. 
Keep on hugging the right wall. Hey Des, welcome back to the end. Uh, wrong ma, no huge rats in this one. No, no, that's uh, that's um, what you would call it. Either War Sword of Conquest or um, I'm gonna say uh, the Wargs from uh, the Lord of the Rings mod, uh, Last Days of the Third Age, because I know they're Wargs, but they look like giant rats. I'm sorry, they they do. How you doing, Des? How have you been, man? What's up? Bad in my mind. Some more Sword Conquest? That's ah, okay. It's an okay mod. We like it. Ah, navigating through mazes is fun. I finally figured out what you'll play for Classic WoW. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Classic WoW as well. What are you going to play for Classic WoW? What are you going to... I am so tempted to move away from this wall. Uh, you're going to level a mage with a friend and a hunter when he isn't around. Okay. Sounds cool. Horde or alliance? Yeah, we're back where we started. I think so. I think we're back where we started. Yeah. And the game says that there's still something I haven't explored yet. Want to go Alliance, uh, but he's a diehard horde. Okay. No, I don't think I see anything else around here. Trying to move through central areas that I might have missed by simply going through the outer wall. Really wanted to go Alliance for Ironforge. I like Ironforge as well. I'm planning on making a Dwarf Paladin for Classic and a Orc Shaman for, um... Sorry. Dwarf Paladin for Alliance, Orc Shaman for uh, Horde. I think I'm going to be exiting. I'm not seeing anything else and, uh... I don't know. I feel like we fully explored it. Although the game states that we did not. Is it the flowers? No, of course not. Hello, Dam Damian. I did? Did I? Did it say to that I fully explored it? Welcome to the inn. Oh my good God, it did. I'm an idiot. Thank you. I thank you, good sir. I did not know that I fully explored the Great Maze. At least, it didn't tell me that I fully explored it. That's kind of dumb. It's kind of funny that that is what I played my first time playing WoW. Probably didn't until I went Horde and I mained a Shaman from the rest of Vanilla. Uh, yeah, I just want to go and try that out. Uh, I've played, I've tried all of the classes. Most likely I'm going to be making a mage at some point because I really like mages. Uh, but yeah, mostly I'm going to be going for a paladin and for a shaman. Indeed, it's kind of sad, Tinkus. It's kind of sad. But hey, we made our way through it and we got 400 experience out of it. Nice. Just nice. And since we're in the area, let's recruit some... <laughs> Pardon? Let's recruit some villagers? Or not? I just wish I knew, as a paladin, I was supposed to be a healer, as Rhett wasn't that great. I healed raids as a Rhett paladin. Yeah. Well, you'll know now, my man. You'll know now. So in this mod, you cannot recruit soldiers from villages unless you're part of that faction. 
Is that a thing? I don't know, Radic. I kind of have an idea on what to do. I think I think I'd like to stream a. Um, if I were to stream WoW Classic, I'd like to stream on an RP server and just role play. Just role play the fuck out of that. You know, just create a character and role play and stay in character and just uh, live the life in, within WoW. That that sounds very fun. And interesting. And I think I'd like to do that. The, the question is, would you guys like to see that? Not sure either, Jinkis, about a Clash of Kings and what are the requirements from for recruiting from uh, villages. Wish I knew, though. Though. Wish I knew. Now let's go through here. There's uh, Rios. Oh, I can recruit soldiers from Senol. One Bravosi Levy. Sure. Let's get him. I mean, I also didn't know crap. I was young back then, but it was kind of weird my guild letting me heal as Red Paladin in hindsight. Maybe your guild didn't know either, my man. And we've reached in time for the melee. That's great. Maybe. Or maybe, um... Lorth doesn't have its own troops. And they are a mercenary only faction. I don't know. Let's join the melee. Yeah. Place my bits. Give me in there, coach. I think so. I think so, uh, Damian. I think you're correct. Woohoo! Hello, Florette person. I feel like you're ill equipped for this battle. Tenesio. Hello, Tenesio. Okay, you're slightly better equipped for this. I'm not exactly sure how that weapon... Okay. It can... What the fuck? Yeah, I, I thought that hat wasn't that well armored. That's weird. I wouldn't mind seeing WoW Classic streams, especially I never really tried RP, even though I played on RP server for a time. Yeah, the idea, though... If I would stream WoW Classic and RP, is I would really, really take my time. Just take my time. Oh, 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 oh. That's awesome. Really take my time with the game. I wouldn't rush to level 60. I would just live and enjoy the areas of the game. So be warned in case you want to see that. But yeah, in case you want to see that, I'd be down. I plan on playing WoW Classic anyway, so why not? Alright, Vogapo Nairolis. You wanna roll? Okay, please decide on uh, the angle of your attack, good sir. Mm -hmm. There. Are we fighting now? I don't know, some Dothraki wannabe guy. Ooh, he's fast! Ow? Son of a? Got him. That's the dude that won all of his uh, earlier... Earlier uh, duels. Hey, no brain, no rush. What kind of game do you think it is? Um, a game where you enjoy the world and the quests. And maybe make some friends on the way. That's the type of game that I think it is. The current iteration of WoW is um, you rush your way to uh, max level to make end game content. The earlier version of Classic, I feel like it's different. Now I'm just gonna chill and enjoy the process, my man. I'm fighting this guy again. Goodbye, Moredo of Bravos. Oh, maybe he was another dude. Just similarly dressed. The melee has ended, and we won. Okay. Crown changes you of the victory and brings you your reward. A heavy-looking bag of silver containing 300 coins. In addition, we receive 200 coins and the bets. Nice. Mm 
Mm. Indeed, I understand what you're saying, my man. Crossbowman, really? I can grab Bravo's crossbowman. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how crossbowmen uh, perform in this mod. Hello. Mm -mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm -mm. What you had in there, boy? Is that a sword in your hand, or are you just happy to see me? That is clearly a sword in his hand. Why don't I just put it out there right now? Game intended to have fun. No way. Indeed. Indeed. I know it's shocking, you know, Brain. But, uh, that is the situation. Let's go to Bravos. Bravos is served by two main arbors. The purple arbor in the north is used by locals only, while the ragman's arbor in the west is where foreign ships are moored. All ships have to submit to inspection by the Sea Lord's customs officer at the checkpoint. Scattered throughout the city are small, okay? Can I go into Bravos, please? Thank you. Nice. Master with crossbow, must work two handed Bravos blade. Okay. Two handed mace. You're most displeased? Well, I think you'll be a big boy and get over it. Let's take a walk around the streets. I'd like to see the scene of the city. There's my naked boy. Look at him in all his glory. Mm. Alright. Even if I don't hit my goal by time phase 2 hits, I would like my second character to be out of a strangle torn veil by then. Uh, that is when the PvP is going to really ramp up. I guess. A citizen. Actually, I don't really care about being here. The Iron Bank is here. What? Uh, though all the free cities have their own banks, the Iron Bank is richer and more powerful than all the others combined, has a fearsome reputation. Located close to the Sea Lord's Palace, the bank is built of marble and granite. The doors are huge. The doors are huge, made of bronze and flanked by Valyrian sphinxes. Okay. Huh. Hello? Welcome to the Iron Bag. How can I be of service? I want to discuss my finances. Very well. You do not yet have an account with us, so we will gladly help you deposit whatever amount of coin you desire here with us. You can retrieve your gold whenever you so desire, and we're currently offering a 2.5 return rate on deposits. Is that acceptable? That's acceptable. Very well. Welcome to the Iron Bank. You lost 1,000 coins. We can retrieve 1,000 coins. My current balance is 1k coins. So, each week, I guess, we get 2.5 of that. So that's, uh... I suck at math. That's, um... 25? Shit. That's 25 coins? Okay. So if I deposit 10k, I get 250. Okay. Mm. Most likely, it does. Well, we'll just leave 1k in the bank for a while. That is gonna multiply with itself, I hope. Can I talk with the man behind there? Me and my colleagues serve the key holders and the counselors, who in turn serve the Iron Bank of Bravos, in which you now stand. Can you tell me more about the bank? The Iron Bank was founded by 23 citizens, 16 men and 7 women, each of whom owned a key to the bank's great subterranean vaults. 
Their descendants now numbering more than 1,000 are known as key holders and proudly display their keys on formal occasions, though these keys are entirely ceremonial. Certain of these founding families have declined, with some losing their wealth entirely, yet all of them, they cling to their keys and the honors that go along with them. Though all the free cities have their own banks, the Iron Bank is richer and more powerful than all the others combined. Part of this is due to our dealings with the Western World Sea, but the most instrumental part is the one often repeated by my fellow citizens. The Iron Bank will have its due. Okay. That's kind of cool. City Watch. And just citizens waiting around, doing nothing. Okay. Okay, that's no idea, my man. We'll see when uh, we'll play. We'll see when we're going to get our hands on the game. So, now that we have 10k, let's... Uh, you know what? Sure, let's buy an Enterprise here in uh, Bravos. I'm sure the Guildmaster won't mind. Ain't that right, Guildmaster? Fuck yeah. 84 coins. 173. 211. Minus. 270 for the oil. 142. Uh, okay, Weavery wins 539. That's good. That's bad. That's better. So yeah, we very wins. I was browsing the Reddit, and that's what everyone is complaining about. Damn. Jesus, why? People shouldn't really care about these small things. But hey, what do I know? Okay. I think we're going to be ending it here, guys. I think we've fully explored the world. Finally, we've uh, unveiled the entirety of the Fog of War. If there are any locations that you see that I might have missed, I'm not exactly sure if that's even uh, explorable, uh, please let me know. Uh, but that is going to be it for today. I'm going to be saving and exiting. Um, if you guys like what I do, hit the follow button, it really helps me out, it makes the channel grow, makes everything more awesome. If you want to further support me, also subscribe, got some emoticons that you can utilize if you do. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I have multiple playthroughs of Mountain Blade and multiple mods of Mountain Blade, of course. Uh, multiple guides for them, and, you know, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I put in new content, and I try to put in new content every few days. Uh, that's it, and I wish you guys a wonderful... Wonderful day. Bye-bye.